What's going on everybody? It's Friday, so let's fire something up. As you can tell from the uh, title, we're going to be making a penny stove. I'm going to be doing a little uh, bit of a, uh, you know, change on it, I guess. And I'm going to be using a filler for the actual, inside the actual uh, stove itself to help, uh, I guess, hold the fuel more and make it a little safer uh, in the long run. So, let's uh, do this. Now, to do your alcohol stoves, it's really, really easy. Just need a couple cans. It doesn't really matter what size. It just kind of depends on what you're doing with those stoves. It's going to be something that you want to have a longer burn time. You need a little bit bigger cans. These are just some Arizona, what are these? 23-ounce cans. You need a marker. And you need a cutting device. You can either do it with uh, scissors, if you're using the Sharpie method, uh, or I'll kind of show a, another way that you can do it without having to uh, have the marker and everything. I'm gonna get the uh, camera turned down, and here we go. All right, the first way I'm gonna show you is the way that I'm not doing it today, just so that you can have it. If you have a box cutter, you have a couple different options. You can put it right on out and just run your can on it like so, or you can take the blade out and do it the same way. I find that can be hard sometimes to, uh, just because the scoring and everything. That's why I like using the marker method. All you do, take your cap off, spin your can around, You're gonna draw a nice line all the way around it. Do it with your second one. All right. Now, cut in somewhere on your can. Now, before we go any further, make sure you're not using your uh, spouse's nice scissors. Get some dollar store little kitchen scissors. You might, you know, you're like my wife, you might get your butt kicked. All right. You're gonna go along your line. Try to keep it as even as possible. Like show. Do it to the other side and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, everyone, as you can see, we got the two. Now some people want to be all fancy and will uh, take steel wool and go around the outside of the cans to make it all silver and everything look all pretty care less. All right, now we're on to the fun part. This is the biggest pain in the butt when it comes to uh, the uh, penny stoves. You gotta be able to put two cans together. But as you can see, they're just hollow. What I'm gonna be doing, I wanna try out, is I'm gonna try some sand. I have a uh, some carbon uh, carbon felt on order uh, to use as well. And then I need to get some fiberglass, but don't have any handy uh, in my house. It's all behind drywall. But I saw somebody use uh, sand. Uh, if you guys were familiar with Hiram Cook, he hasn't made videos in uh, several years, but he did one uh, kind of like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw it in there. I don't know how much to put in. All right. Fill it up, maybe uh, maybe halfway. Now I'm gonna take my uh, other one. Now there's numerous ways that people try tricks with this. 
they will make little cuts. They will, and even I have taken where I twist it in a little bit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just gonna go old school and just try to shove it all in here. I'm trying to pinch it together a little bit. Here we go. Not too bad at all. All right. And there we go. Now, I'm gonna grab my uh, drill and bring you guys back for the next part. Hold on. All right, everyone. Got my drill. Now, I'm gonna be doing two sets of holes. One set is gonna be, I'm gonna put two holes right here in the middle. And then that's gonna be my fill hole for my, uh, for my fuel. And then I'm gonna put holes around the top side here. That's actually gonna be where my uh, flames will come through. So here we go. Try to be careful when you do that so you don't puncture all the way through. I knew better than that. Just like that, twice. Always watch your bottoms. Make sure that you didn't poke through. All right, because I don't wanna keep embarrassing myself, I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera and then I'll show you guys what's going on. Back. As you can see, there are two holes right there. And then I've got holes all the way around the rim. Now some people will straight measure all this out and make it all even and everything like that. Me, not so much. I just do it and we go from there. Now, that's the hard part. Now come time for the easy part. I try to use denatured alcohol as much as I can, simply because it's a cleaner burning fuel. You can use isopropyl, you can use heat, all that kind of different stuff but you're gonna have a lot of soot on your uh, cooking stuff. So I just try to do this. I've got, I don't know, think this is a 45 milliliter shot glass. So you know, probably around 30, 30 mils. Make sure you put this up before you try to light anything. Now, as you'll see, just gonna put it right on here. If you can see here, this is why it's really important when you do these, especially that you do it over something that is uh, fire safe, because you almost always end up spilling a bunch, just like I did. I'm gonna throw a little more in there just because I made such a mess. All right, now take your penny with a penny stove, throw it on there. And now before it goes down, light her up. All right, that was unsuccessful. All right, everybody, I'm gonna add some more, uh, add some more on here. And then all of this other fuel that's gone around the side, you can always try to light that up too. That'll kind of help heat the, uh, the outside as well. Waste not, what not. Let's see if we get a go this time. As you can see there, you can see the fuel that leaked out. It's on the fire brick there.
Well, folks, it's being a pain in the butt. And I am not one to want to uh, give in easy. Let's see. Actually, hold on. Something I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to turn the light off so I can see when the plumes start. Hopefully. All right. All right, everybody. Is it working? Yes. Technically, it is working. Do I think I would use sand again? No. Uh, but we always learn from even our failures. And we didn't burn ourselves. So I consider that a, a success. Drop down here so you can see me. Technically, it works. Technically, it's a success. But having to use my... Uh, blowtorch, uh, you know, that kind of kills the whole thing. But it did work. Hope you guys are good. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, talk to you here later.